Hi friends, this is Geography Girl Jamie with Around the World in Homeschool Days. And today I wanna to show you my top choices for you to study Spain with your child at three different levels. This first level would be the preschool kindergarten level. I have Bella and Harry, let's visit Barcelona. And this one is gonna take you all through Barcelona, art museums, parks, with these two little dogs. Second one for preschool age or kindergarten, The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. This one is talking about bullfighting, how the bulls are selected, and the story of Ferdinand, who is a bull selected for bullfighting who does not want to fight. So this gives you an idea of the amount of text and the type of pictures here. Katie and the Spanish Princess by James Mayhew. I like all of James Mayhew's art books because they make the paintings come alive, literally. This girl Katie jumps in and out of art and has interactions with the characters who also come into the gallery sometimes. And this one is focused on the art of Spanish painters. The next level would be early elementary, mid elementary level. This one is called Gargoyles, Girders, and Glass Houses, Magnificent Master Builders. This talks about a few different architects and their architectural styles. And the second to last chapter is about Barcelona's Gaudí. So it's about four or five pages. And these illustrations are by Roxy Monroe. She's the one who's written the Inside Outside books. And I really like her illustrations. The Secret Shofar of Barcelona. This book is gonna tell you about what life was like for the Jewish people during the Spanish Inquisition. So it goes through this Spanish family the father is leader of the orchestra, and he is going to hide this uh, call of the shofar within his orchestral piece of music. Picasso and the Girl with the Ponytail by Lawrence Anholt. I love all of Lawrence Anholt's art books. They detail a relationship between a famous artist and a young person in his life. Um, all true stories, and so you get some photographic reproductions such as this and then in the back you always get a biography about the artist's life. The last three I have here are chapter books which are also great for elementary or middle school. It really depends on what reading level your child is reading at. These would be great for read-alouds, all of them. Don Quixote and Sancho Panza adapted by Margaret Hodges. So this of course is by Don Quixote of La Mancha by Miguel de Cervantes. And what she's done is she's taken six of the most famous stories and written them for young readers. I do like Margaret Hodges' writings. And there are illustrations throughout like this, some in color, some in black and white. The Unicorn Rescue Society, The Basque Dragon. Now, anytime I pick up a book and the cover is very cartoony like this, I'm suspicious of the contents inside, but this one surprised me. It is by Newbery Honor with winning author, Adam Gidwitz. So you do get a lot of illustrations, but the text is very well written and I learned a lot about Basque land, which is in the northern part of Spain. And they're dealing with enchanted animals, so that part um, is probably made up. But it's a lot of fun, well written. This, is, this last one is Toro Toro by Michael Morpugo. Um, this says that Michael Morpugo is a 2003 to 2005 children's laureate. So when I see things like that, Newberry winning author, children's laureate, Generally, I'm expecting writing of a higher quality, and this one does not disappoint. There are a few illustrations, 
um, and a few chapters. I believe there are six or seven chapters in here. Um, they're not, the chapters aren't labeled there, so they're just like this. But this is going to take your child through the Spanish Civil War. Here were all the books you've read about Spain, and most of them were great. If they weren't great, I just sent them back to the library immediately and didn't bother reading them out loud. But I chose these nine books specifically because I felt that there was something extra in them, something that made history come alive for my kids. That's really important to me when I read to my kids, that, it, that the book makes a city just seem more real or it just helps them understand history better. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you next time.